YouTube Wardog message over. Welcome back, guys, to part eight of our first mission in the Canadian campaign on Combat Mission Shock Force 2. The campaign is the Carbo Trail. The mission is Killing Time. And boy, has this mission been killing it. Uh, I did not realize that uh, even doing this in half an hour stints, that they would end up with more than eight parts for this uh, for this first mission i do hope you're enjoying if you are if you are watching this far if you've watched all the previous videos thank you very much um i hope you are enjoying what uh, what we're doing it's a lot longer format than i thought it was going to be so uh big thank you to anybody who is still watching at this point um current situation we've got the pioneers and ninth platoon making a break up the left flank trying to get close to the to the um, main settlement Toltamia. we've got eighth platoon providing a base of fire for ninth and seventh and seventh platoon are pushing up this wadi on the right flank and trying to get a base uh, or a foothold in the south yard here um, which uh, Master Corporal Abbott's one section is working on. We have got some enemy combatants in here. Actually, we've got a lot of enemy combatants in here that are surrendering. There's six of them now. We knew about four before. Um, we did just have a PKM from the top of the school open up on us, but I've given some troops orders to suppress that. Uh, so now I'm trying to figure out how we continue the assault on the south yard. I am concerned about enemies potentially being in these buildings. The fact that these guys haven't yet been actually captured is probably because there's an enemy close enough to them that hasn't surrendered yet. Now they could be in this building, they might be in this building, they could be in this building. I don't know how close close enough is, but it's essentially close enough to uh, convince them not to surrender just yet. Um, we're moving Master Corporal Abbott into this building um, and I think what I want to do what I was considering doing at the last of the, uh, end of the last episode which I had to end very uh, swiftly because the dog was barking and I didn't know why turns out it was uh, just a vacuum cleaner she just had a problem with but that's fine I think I want to tuck Finley in against the wall of this building where he should be mostly safe from any other enemies but then once we've got him into there like bringing him inside of this building don't want to bring him around the front because it exposes him to the entire town and i'm not really a big fan of bringing him in the back door either because there could be more enemies over that way um And plus, like, they might move into this building and find that the enemy was in this building all along and immediately get engaged. Uh... How much can these guys see back here? They can see basically every building that could be a threat, whereas Finley in this one can't see that building back there or that one so this is a better base of fire position really if we push them out here they are going to be very exposed and if these guys decide to start fighting again, it's going to get real nasty. Okay. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to move two sections A team under Master Corporal Solberg down into this position. I'll bring two sections B team just behind him. And Sergeant Major Bergeron can uh, come down 
this way. Now, that's probably going to take him 20 seconds. So if you guys wait 20 seconds and then move down, we'll start by moving you to there. And you guys wait 20 seconds as well. And move down to the square behind them. What I might do is push free section directly up here or up this way I'm not sure yet but bring them to a position where they are able to uh, engage these buildings from another angle so once you get down there which we're definitely talking beyond one turn, you wait 30 seconds and then uh, move down to there and you guys when you get to there wait 30 seconds and move down to there okay guys maneuver first. Yeah, the, uh, the LT back here has got uh, got his orders. We're going to keep shuttling him down the wadi towards his platoon. are still making their way across. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned that uh, smoke wise it seems to be drifting away quite rapidly. Is he still calling his fire mission? Yes. <laughs> Has been for ages. Right, I don't think there's anything else we can do. We're just going to have to see how this progresses. Ooh. Sometimes combat mission does that, it's not like that. Uh, you no longer have comms with the uh, with uh, Major Clark, so let's bring Major Clark forward and also tell him not to engage anything too far away. the guys that I told to suppress the school of, of course smoke has dissipated way earlier than I would have liked. Okay, it uh, didn't look to me like there was any issues on that one. These guys are starting to move down to where I told them to. They've merged back into one squad. Okay. Um, let's start by grabbing our mortars here and saying put smoke down range wherever you can get it they've only got four smoke shells each but uh, anywhere is better than nowhere one I 
think we'll hold off on because we can't really get these at all. But the other three, we're just going to tell them to mob smoke down there. There's not really anything I can do here except for potentially telling everybody to uh, start sprinting, which I might do. They're going to be a bit knackered for it, but rather they were a bit knackered than a bit dead. be okay. There's not really much for it now except for them to uh, commit to it. Okay, these guys are still maneuvering down <coughs> to the right flank. Uh, currently, oh, some of them have, these white flags mean that some of them have actually physically been captured now. So that's interesting. keep the units that we told to suppress the school suppressing the school is he still calling in his fire mission yes good god how long's that going to go on Ten seconds there, sixteen seconds there. I think they're going to move down there. It's probably going to take them about twenty seconds. So we talk thirty-six seconds. two-man scout team instead of a three-man maybe guardsman Lalonde is in charge of this uh, I guess Corporal Finley stays with the uh, the main body so if we say you guys wait for 30 seconds and then just go and stick yourselves against that wall that might be a pretty big risk but uh, Hopefully not. Now, this machine gun. Sorry guys, had to sneeze. <laughs> Didn't think you'd want to hear it. Uh, Corporal Surden's machine gun. Can't see barely any. I mean, you can see some of these ones on the right hand side, but you can see barely any of those buildings. I think it might be time to move him forward. Or do we want to just put him inside the building? I think we'll just put him inside the building actually. Hello. Thank you. Still manoeuvring there, still pushing on the left.
round out the minute in that wadi, but then I think next turn we're probably going to move them. Alright, let's see what happens. Probably on the guys on the yeah on the guys on the left. is happening on the right it's all going on wow okay that was uh, a busy minute let's start with whatever went on on the left so I told them all to sprint so they all picked up the pace sort of rounds fired at the uh, lead elements from tall to command group HQ interesting who is up on the roof and almost immediately starts taking fire <laughs> Front elements of uh, ninth group start shooting back at as well. And then this guy quickly decides that he's going to. I think he's heading downstairs. He's going to There's two of them up there. And now they've got. Well, there's three of them, but one of them gets wounded. And that's enough to scare the other two into leaving the building. Okay, so they're abandoning the building at the end of it after taking a casual egg and failing to inflict any injuries over there. Now, what the heck went on on the right-hand side? section starts to move forward down the water. And I think it's somebody in one of these back buildings that uh, decides they don't like them. Looks like it was an RPG as well. Yep. I'm pretty sure that was an RPG. Flew off the map and missed. Looked like it came out of that building. There he is. Bad leadership, conscript uh, experience, and nervous. He immediately starts returning fire. He's shaken. to me like he's about to fire again uh, and because we're on basic training difficulty even though we can't see them we can see there's four other guys in his uh, unit who are all cowering their unit is panicked they're pinned but he is still aiming so he might still get a shot off um, Master Corporal Abbott's uh, A team from one section is also engaging him Let 
let's have... I don't know if you guys are engaging them or not. But uh, let's have you guys target the building. Can't quite see the guys, I don't think. Or maybe you can. Can you see the guys? Uh, on a reverse slope target, yes. Let's not worry too much about that. I should have checked, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, that the rest of these guys in here have been captured now. So we're going to have you guys target the actual infantrymen, and you guys target the building. Because he's still aiming his RPG, I'm going to tell these guys to wait... Uh, Ten. No, we'll wait 15 seconds. I feel like if there was anybody in these three buildings here, that they would have participated in this gunfight. Maybe even that one. Um, I mean, these guys can see almost every building, and there's nothing going on in them, so... What we're going to do is tell them to sprint up to there and then uh, hunt inside that first building, which is risky for sure. Because almost everybody is currently suppressing that building, so they can't provide support if somebody else pops up. Do I really want to do that? No, maybe I don't. Well, maybe we say that you guys, instead of doing that, you just give it give it 15 seconds and then stop and then you can shoot somebody else if they pop up and I think the PKM on the school should be pinned these guys are definitely not having a fun time so I think we're going to push the scout team inside of here I don't know which way they're going to go, but hopefully they do it quick enough that it won't matter. They might choose to go through the front door. These guys are all knackered, they can't sprint anymore, but I think they'll be okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's see what happens. Another RPG did fire. Okay, I didn't see any casualty things flash up, so I'm not going to worry about watching the whole turn. Uh, I do want to try and gauge where these guys ran off to, although I think they disappeared pretty quickly. Yeah, they did. So, don't really know, but uh, somewhere into a new it. And then I want to try and see whether these guys have surrendered or what.
these guys are at this building. I'm fairly sure there's nobody in here because they'd have definitely shot at them by now. Pretty sure there's nobody in here or in here because they'd have shot at them as well. Could be somebody in the back half of this building, so we'll find out when they hunt through. Okay. Uh, we're going to tell the guys that are suppressing the school to stop so that they don't just chew through too much ammo. <laughs> the mortar smoke is just all over the place. Okay, most of the... Uh... <laughs> oh my god. What a ridiculous pile of human beings this is. Okay, we need to start figuring out how we want to approach uh, assaulting through here. Let's grab these guys and say, hey, could you move to there? And then, like, I'm not really sure never sure with blasting like do I do it there maybe I do maybe I, maybe facing helps so we'll see if we can blast through the wall there um, I'm fairly confident there's nobody in this part of this building or in this building because they definitely would have fired at them as they were coming up here Two section has currently merged back into one team. Let's uh, grab two sections B team, put them here, and face them that way. And we'll grab Master Corporal Asselin's two section A team, push them to that corner, have them face down that way. Spacing is absolutely atrocious, man. Okay, so we go, we blast through this wall. If there's anybody in here, hopefully we can engage them. Um, we do need to secure a two story building here. I think we'll, uh, we'll wait for the blast gap. Are you still calling a fire mission? Yes. Okay, I mean, I'm going to let him keep doing that for another minute at least. Um... sure that this building is clear. Fairly sure this is, because otherwise these guys would be getting shot at. Same goes for this one, to be honest. So I think if you guys want to uh, switch over to light engagement there, school suppressed because it could uh, enfilade these guys. Who's got the most ammo? You do. Keep shooting at the school please. Right, I want you guys to move down there and then as quickly as possible up to there. guys once you've hunted into there can stay there because we push you through exposing you to more buildings. Uh, Master Corporal Solberg can move down to there, then there, then into there. To the next building. Corporal Finnegan. You can do the same thing. Um, 
Sergeant Major Bergeron. Let's get you through into that building. And Lieutenant Sinclair. Endeavour to get down here as well. progress through here. What are you on? Oh god, we're already at 32 minutes. Alright, well we've issued orders now. We've got 36 minutes left in the battle. Whether we achieve this or not, I don't know. Um, 36 minutes is a long time considering we're practically on top of the objective. Um, but it might force me to uh, rush a little bit more than I'd like. Either way, thank you for watching if you've watched this far, especially if you've watched the whole uh, series. Thank you very much for your patience. I hope you're enjoying. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you would like to. You can hit the dislike button too if you want to. That's fine as well. Um, I will see you guys on the next one, but for the time being, it's going to be Wardog.